Hey what's up guys, Brandon here, and this is how to set up a power supply on your computer. Let's start by showing you the connections that your computer needs. For the motherboard, it needs a 24 pin connection. For your CPU, you're looking at an 8 pin connection. And for your graphics card, you're looking also at an 8 pin connection. Now for the SSD or hard drive, you're looking at a SATA connection. Looking at the power supply, you get the power cord, the power cables, and the power supply unit itself. Quick disclaimer though, I do have a modular power supply, meaning that I get to connect the cables that I need and don't have to deal with the cables already pre-installed. Let's go ahead and match the cables with the connections needed in your motherboard. For the CPU, the cables labeled CPU. For the motherboard's 24 pin connection, it is the only 24 pin connection included in your power supply. For the graphics card, you're looking at a PCIe Express cable. And for your SATA cable, well, this is what it looks like. Now let's go ahead and connect everything to the PSU before going inside the case. Don't worry, everything on the PSU is labeled so you won't misconnect anything. Let's go ahead and install the power supply inside your case. First, you're going to have to remove the thumb screws located on the back of your case. Put the shield on top of your power supply. Align the mounting screws perfectly with the power supply. You will need the four screws included in your case for the power supply mounting. Before we slide on the power supply, there is a fan at the bottom of it and there is a grill at the bottom of your case. It's recommended to put it down so that it exhausts through that case. But if you're going to have your computer on the ground, go ahead and flip it upwards so it exhausts towards the inside of the case. For my case, my computer stays on my desk and not on the floor. I am going to put the fan facing down towards the grill so it can exhaust through the bottom. Just go ahead and slide it in and close the four thumb screws. Finally, all that's left is to connect the power supply to the motherboard, starting with the 24 pin connection, then the CPU connection, followed by the PCIe connection on your graphics card, and the SATA connections for your hard drives. Do a little cable management. That's it. Anyways guys, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.